In my last AuraCast video, I showed you guys the HomeSpot BA210 version one. HomeSpot was nice enough to send me their brand new model, the BA210 V2. And I'm gonna show you all of the new features that this one has along with the configuration page on how to get the most out of this little device. Now, if you're new to the channel, this channel focuses on all things wireless broadcast. So if you like wireless broadcast technology like AuraCast, where you can have an unlimited number of devices all connect to the same single broadcast stream. Subscribe to this channel. I think you'll love it. One of the other technologies that I talk about frequently on this channel is ATSC 3.0, which is a television broadcast technology with broadcasters promising to use ATSC 3.0 technology to deliver 4K HDR NFL games with Dolby Atmos audio for free to anybody with a TV antenna. All right, so first, just a quick recap. If you don't know what Bluetooth AuraCast is, AuraCast is just a wireless broadcast technology. In fact, I'd say that this is very similar to the way that FM radio works conventionally. You have a little personal FM radio transmitter and any device that tunes FM radio broadcasts can just tune into the frequency and start playing the audio. It works very similarly from a basic level, except this is a much more modern digital standard. And I already created a video kind of explaining RCAS, so you can watch that in the video in the card here. Now, this is the updated BA210 version two. Now, this is a standard AuraCast transmitter. That means any AuraCast receiver can receive a signal from this device. This doesn't just have to work with HomeSpot's headphones, which are these AuraCast headphones right here. Although this did come with the bundle that I got this in. These are standard AuraCast headphones, and this is just a standard AuraCast transmitter. So you can use any combination in order to fully utilize uh, AuraCast. In fact, I'm gonna be trying out a lot more Bluetooth AuraCast enabled devices. So a couple of the product lines that I'm gonna be getting are actually from JBL. So this broadcaster will work with JBL speakers because the JBL AuraCast enabled speakers will just see the signal that this outputs as just a standard Bluetooth AuraCast broadcast just like any other broadcast that it may see. And another company was nice enough to send me some of their Bluetooth AuraCast products. I will be having Aventry products reviewed on this channel within a few days when they come in. So I'll be able to try them out with this Bluetooth AuraCast transmitter as well. So in order to get the most out of this BA210 V2, you just wanna connect this to your computer and open a Chromium based browser. So for me, I'm gonna use Brave. Obviously Google Chrome is a very popular browser as well. And then you're gonna to wanna to connect this to its USB-C port right there. It's gonna light up. All right, now that we've got this connected, let's go over to the browser here. We're going to type in this URL right here, okay. And then as you can see here, it says QKCast tool. We're currently on version 0.95. It may update in the future. You're gonna click get started. And as long as you have it connected to one of your USB ports, you should see here the BA210 AV broadcaster showing up. If it doesn't show up for you, you're probably not using a data USB cable. It's probably a cable that's only meant to send power and it doesn't have the pins for data. I'm actually using an Apple USB-C cable because this one has a lot of protections against uh, interference. So when I use this broadcaster with the three and a half millimeter headphone jack, uh, a lot of the interference that that cable picks up is mitigated by using a more higher quality power cable like this one. And this also happens to be a data cable. Um, so I just use this. It did come with one in the box. Um, just know that when you're using it, there is some interference that does get picked up if you're using the analog three and a half millimeter headphone jack to supply an audio source for this broadcaster. All right, so we're gonna click connect. And we are now connected to this device's internal settings page, which is running on device in this browser right now. So there's two things that you can change with this. You can change the name of the device. Now I've already done this. I changed it to WNY over the air. So now the Bluetooth AuraCast name that it's sending out is WNY over the air. So if you have a place of worship or a business and you wanna change the name to reflect your organization or your business name, this is a great way to do it to make it super easy to find for people that wanna find your AuraCast. The other thing 
which was really nice for them to change is the configuration for the high quality audio broadcast. So this BA210V2 has the added functionality to have an open broadcast. So the BA210V1 only had an encrypted broadcast. And that one was the encrypted high quality broadcast. So it used the higher quality, higher bit rate LC3 audio variant for the encrypted broadcast. And that was the only option. The BA210V2 adds functionality for an open broadcast. Now, the only problem with the open broadcast when I first tried it out is that the LC3 audio bitrate that they chose was relatively low quality and you could tell that it didn't sound pretty good. So I asked HomeSpot, I said, the audio quality for the open broadcast doesn't sound very good. Is there a way that you could create an open broadcast with that higher quality audio bitrate and they were nice enough to actually act on what I said and they updated their configuration tool to reflect these new changes. So you can now adjust the high quality configuration to not just be encrypted anymore, but to also be open. So this is what it's gonna look like when you first uh, connect this device. It's gonna say 48K encrypted. That is if you want to keep it so that you need a passcode in order for somebody to join the broadcast. So in this case, unfortunately, you can't change the passcode. So the passcode that is on the bottom of your broadcaster printed there on that sticker is the permanent passcode that you can't change. But what you can do is you can change the high quality mode from encrypted to open without requiring a passcode. So when I change this, it is going to change over the high quality mode to no longer require a passcode in order to join it. And now, as soon as we refresh this page, let me go back into it here. Okay, here we go, we're back into it. And now, as you can see, the high quality configuration is now open. So now when I go to join this Auracast broadcast, I can flip over to the high quality mode, which let me just hold in the button to switch over to that. There we go. If I refresh, we should now be in HQ mode. And we now are, it says Auracast HQ. That means we're using the higher quality audio bit rate. It's just a higher bit rate that it's sending it at. And of course the name is changed. Again, if you wanna change the name, you literally just click the little pencil icon and then you can change it out to whatever you want. I'm gonna leave it as WNY over the air, uh, like I changed it. And there is one other configuration from the audio perspective that you can change. And that is the volume offset. So it is set to negative 18 dB. If you raise this, the higher the number, the louder it is. So zero is the loudest. And then as you start going lower and lower and lower with these negative values, it'll get softer. Other than that, these are all the new changes with the HomeSpot product. This is actually a relatively affordable product at only around $47 uh, as of the time of this video on Amazon. If you're looking to get an Arcast broadcaster for your place of business or your place of worship or anything like that, this will work really well. If you're just looking to send some audio from your phone to maybe a few Bluetooth speakers, like some JBL speakers or something like that, I'm going to be reviewing another product here in a couple days from Aventree that has a small little dongle that plugs into your phone that's a lot less cumbersome than this. This is well suited for an organization or a business to have it plugged in and keep running. Whereas that dongle is great for kind of on the go or smaller use cases. So other than that, let me know what you think of Bluetooth Auracast in the comment section below. I'll be creating a lot more videos on Auracast in the future. I love this technology. Um, just like I do all of these awesome broadcast technologies. If you're curious about watching my other videos about Auracast that I'll be having here in a few weeks, definitely stick around, hit the subscribe button and engage with this video. Leave a comment like so that this video gets pushed out more in the algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.